Ages and ages ago, I made a video talking about the worst and most useless attachments that Phantom Forces has to offer. But since I made that video, a lot of those attachments are now actually either useful, have been repurposed for other means, or just are no longer terrible for one reason or the other. However, there still are quite a few terrible, downright waste of development time attachments, and even a couple of conversions here and there, that just seem like a waste of time to even have, and have pretty much no reason to be in Phantom Forces. So in today's video, we're going to talk about just that, the useless or bad attachments of Phantom Forces. So the first attachment that I want to talk about here is a sight, in particular a scope, more particular, the Electra 5 times. The Electra 5 times on the surface is actually one of my favorite looking scopes in Phantom Forces because the very fact that the reticle is just so simple. If you look down the sights, it's just a plus. I'm sorry about all the shaking. Someone is firing something large near me. What are y'all doing down here, bro? Chill. You can see just looking down the scope here, we have what's called eye relief, essentially like the blackness that's around the edge of the scope, kind of coming into frame, not even touching the mouse, just ADSing. Though this gets quite a bit worse whenever you actually try firing the weapon, because you can see it has that flickering effect to it. And this is on basically every single weapon that this exists on. It just makes it nearly useless because of the fact that, again, while the reticle fort is just so nice and it's such a basic scope and it has a laser, but just because I think it's like the exact scope distance that they have from the camera. I think it's something to do with how that set that just makes this so, so freaking bad. And this is on the C7A2, a relatively low recoil weapon. Shoot, we could take it to something like the freaking MG36 even to prove my point further. Look at this, ADSing, lots of eye relief, start firing, flickering. Lovely. By the way, one of the things that I forgot to add about the Electra 5 times is that there's no proper alt aim for this sight, so you can't, like, scope in and have, like, a better scope view. It is only stuck like this. So if you don't like the, the scope sway, you don't like the, the way that it flickers when you fire, well, too bad, that's the Electra 5 times for you. The next thing that we're going to talk about is yet another sight, and that is going to be the Styre sights. The Styre sight the sights, the Styre sights have to be the worst iron sights in the entire game. You can barely see out of them because of, like, the, the the, the aim sway, you can never really see quite where you're aiming. And overall, especially once you start firing, depending on the weapon, you might not even be able to see the sight. Some weapons are definitely worse than others, but it's genuinely just a horrendous sight. Shoot, let's put it on the freaking AK-12 even. Let's do that. Okay, not a great example because the AK-12 iron sights are also there. Oh, that's loud. you're loud in there, bro. You're loud in there. Bye-bye. Generally, it is just a very poor and flat iron sight that's boring and could definitely use a little bit of, uh, little bit of tweaking to make it better. Though potentially the most useless of the bunch here is probably going to have to be the Maglite. With some of the more recent updates, or I should say, I guess the most recent large update that we've gotten to Phantom Forces, a lot of maps are forced to be night maps now since everyone gets to see the same day-night cycle. And because of the new lighting, flashlights and stuff are a little bit more useful. Like you can see here, this room is pretty dark and then the Maglite does light it up. It works pretty well for that. But the thing is, who is going to use this as their main sight? Why not just put a flashlight in like the grip or the other slot. I mean, it's literally free. It's literally, you go here, requires zero kills to get a flashlight. Same with the underbarrel attachment. Bro, just slap two flashlights on. Why do you need a nearly 2000 kill requirement sight removing attachment that just glues a mag light on top of your weapon? This is less useless, I would say, because it does technically have a use that in uh, being, it kind of does technically light up dark rooms, I guess. And you see there, lights up the room, nice. But what it actually is, is a bad attachment because it just, just don't use this. Just don't use it. I don't get why you would use it. Something else that I would consider pretty bad or maybe a little bit more useless are going to be the canted sights. We have three different variety, or I guess technically five, but we're not gonna include these bottom two here. We have three main canted sights in this game. That being the canted iron sight, which is just nearly unusably ugly, bro. Like, who, who is going to go out of their way to use this? Who? Tell me. Tell me. Who is going to do this? We've also got the canted delta sight, which is essentially just the delta sight, but on the side of the weapon, and the canted ACOG scope. Now, the ACOG scope in particular has issues of its own with eye relief and stuff and flickering on some weapons. You can see even just on the AK-12, it kind of does that. But again, who is this for? Obviously, it's not for me because I just don't really see the use in this. Most people are not going to run like an iron sight on their assault rifle like this and then just be like, oh, Yes, yes, time to whip out the the canted ACOG scope. Again, the ACOG scope, like I said, kind of has issues of its own in the first place anyway. The only, like, maybe application that I could see this 
kind of being useful for is like DMRs, for instance. Like, I, I'm weird. I like to run the reflector scope on the MK11. But we could say like, oh, oh shoot. Oh, he's close. He's close. Ah, whip out the, the canted delta sight. Ah, ah. But it's just such a niche attachment that I rarely, if ever, see people use. And typically more than anything, I see it just kind of as a meme bonus attachment because otherwise it doesn't really have that practical of a use. <sighs> Namely with things like the canted furrow or animu sites, because again, who's gonna use this? Who's gonna go out of the way to use this? Some people, probably not me. Just use a laser or something, you'll probably get better benefits out of a laser than you will these canted sights. Anyway though, enough about the sights. Because I'm here to dog on something that I think a lot of people are not going to be happy with, and that is the lasers as a whole. We have the red laser, the green laser, the blue laser, the yellow laser, and the tri-laser. And these all have their own tiny little baby micro changes that make one better than the other for all these different particular use cases. But I, I kind of have a bit of a proposition more than anything else, because while yes, the lasers do technically have a use to them, I think we could actually integrate them into the customization a little bit better for this game. So my idea, scrap all of the lasers, give us one default red laser that we can change the color of as we can with some different sights. Like for instance, I got the coyote sight here. I can edit the sight color. I can make it any funny color that I want. It comes out pretty cool. I can make it match my skin and everything. And with the case of the lasers, I think that we should be able to do this too. And as far as the stats go, I think we should combine all of the different benefits kind of into like one single spot so we could essentially make all the lasers have all the same effects as each other and all the benefits mash together just with the extra customization of being able to change the color of the laser we do actually kind of have this in the game already with the wa 2000 which if you put on the red laser it's it's pink i why is that i don't know is the actual weapon have a pink laser y you tell me but what i do know is that i think that would be a large benefit to customization we could get some really cool laser colors going i mean imagine Imagine having like a cool purple laser on your AK bro or a purple laser on that NTW20 which is kind of scary looking wouldn't that just be so much nicer than our like crap kind of laser choices right now I think so now again to dog on something that I think a lot of people might not be particularly happy with is another attachment that I think is fairly useless and that is going to be to a lot of people's uh, probably uh dismay the chainsaw grip now I dread using this but we're gonna have to for the sake of the video here <laughs> now if somehow you don't know Know what the chainsaw grip is effectively it puts your hand in front of your face like this while holding on to that grip right there and it allows you to technically ads but you're not really aiming down any sights you're just kind of holding the weapon at a more ready position and overall it's just not useful i i i've never really found one single weapon that i genuinely enjoy at chainsaw grip on but otherwise it's pretty freaking useless it just doesn't allow you to aim down sights which i think is dumb in the first place if you don't want to ads just hit fire why, why is it so hard just just why i think this would be great if like maybe certain weapons it was either a free attachment things like the m60 and then maybe give it like crazy recoil benefits if you hip fire with it but the thing is that in basically every single case the vertical grip is just a straight direct upgrade for hip fire than the chainsaw grip so why why do we need this what benefit does this have for the game? In regards to the M60 example that I used earlier, it does have a particularly interesting use case for the chainsaw grip because it does give you like the, the side grip thing here. It allows you to kind of flip it up and then you actually use it, which is kind of cool, I guess. But again, it doesn't really have like, it's not like lowering my recoil or anything that I can see. And I'm a very surface level guy. So if I don't see it, then it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, it's uh chainsaw grips kind of useless. And in some weapons in particular, it makes the weapon completely unusable. A good example would be this here MP7, where it gives it to you on the side of the weapon. And as soon as you ADS, your whole screen's covered. That's it. You're just like freaking dabbing or something. I don't, I don't freaking know, bro. <laughs> I just, I don't know what you're doing here, but it's not something that I want to do. Otherwise, that is pretty much going to be it for today's video. I went through a good amount of attachments and stuff, and over the last several months, Stylus has done a pretty good job at making some more stuff a little bit more useful than it used to be. Namely, things like the scope update from a year ago that made scopes just actually useful in this game. And because of the new layered recoil, the sideways grip seems to kind of be uh, a little bit, uh, you could say, metal. 
meta at the moment. What do you think are useless attachments in this game, or useless conversions, or useless weapons even for that matter? Definitely let me know in the comments section below, and maybe I'll end up making a part two to this video. Do you agree with any of my hot takes in this video? Is everything I said horrendously wrong and you hate my guts? Let me know all that fun stuff in the comment section below. Also, if you did enjoy, please do subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a single video. And if you want to see more videos just like this, you can do so with the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen, along with all the channel members. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. If you want to become one, you can do so with the link below. And with that, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, dudes. Peace.